Hello, and we're thinking in this video about the biological consequences of sewage pollution, and we're thinking about it for IGCSE biology, or if you prefer, how sewage kills fish. And it may not be in exactly the way you would think. Let's start off with what sewage is. Uh, we, at some point, of course, will use one of these if we are uh, fortunate enough to own one, and uh, in that we will ex excrete our urine and we will ingest our feces. It's well worth reminding ourselves of the difference between those two words. Ingestion is passing out undigested food from our colon, you know, from the rectum, then out through the anus. Uh, whereas excretion is getting rid of the waste produced by cells. Urine is that it's filtered blood and you're getting rid of uh, substances such as urea in the urine. And that urea has been made by cells. It's an excretory product. But ingestion is getting rid of things that were never actually in your cells. Your food was never in your cells. So that is ingestion and not excretion. Nonetheless, we produce feces by ingestion and urine via excretion. And we may use one of these, or maybe your toilet of choice is one of these, an attractive little squat and drop number, or maybe you prefer uh, this kind of arrangement. Maybe you're a friendly soul and you like going to the loo with a friend. Um, or maybe you like a choice when you go to the loo. I don't know, I'll let you speculate on that. So then, what happens after you press that flush button? Uh, well, hopefully you live in an area where sewage is treated well and you get rid of a lot of these and you go through sewage treatment plants and so on, but in many parts of the world that's not the case. Or if there's a leak, if there's a flood and things overflow, then you often get the sewage overflowing and flowing out directly into water. Now that might be the sea, that might be a local fresh waterway. And we're going to look at the consequences of when sewage gets into fresh waterways. In particular, we're going to think about feces, the urea in urine, well that will contribute to eutrophication and that's a slightly different but extremely related topic. Let's have a think about the effect of feces on fresh water. This is a river, you can see I've marked it out nicely there, those are the banks of the river, and here is our sewage flooding out. So out it comes, so we have feces, coming into the water. Now feces is dead organic matter. It's composed of all the stuff we can't digest in our food, so that's largely going to be cellulose from the cell walls of plants. We lack the enzyme cellulase, so that contains cellulose, uh, and we as animals lack the enzyme cellulase, we can't digest cellulose back down into glucose, and so that is there in our feces. However, bacteria can. So that is food for bacteria. And therefore, those bacteria multiply. Here are some bacteria here. Just colour them in black. There we go. And we just get lots and lots of of bacteria because they've got this lovely new food supply uh, of your feces or someone else's feces who knows and so we get lots of these okay so what happens now do the bacteria somehow throttle the fish poison the fish infect the fish no that's not what happens what happens next is that these bacteria respire aerobically and as they respire aerobically, they increase the biological oxygen demand, which I will abbreviate to BOD, the biological oxygen demand. And therefore, the quantity of O2 in the water falls, it lowers. And therefore, our fish cannot respire and they die. RIP fish because they cannot get enough oxygen for respiration. And that is it. And we end up with this. Lots of dead fish. Well, there we go, and I hope that helps.